Welcome to World Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Natalie Rydstrom. The FIFA Confederations Cup Brazil 2013 has kicked off last weekend with the group matches. And here with us now to discuss all the betting odds for the matches this week is sports writer Nyla Amarova. Nyla, thanks for joining us. Hey, Natalie. Nice to see you again. Okay, next match we're going to preview is Brazil versus Mexico, playing this Wednesday, June 19th. Brazil are the favourites, priced at 1.36, and underdogs Mexico are priced at 8.5, odds courtesy of Bet365. Now, if we look at Brazil's performance in their last match against Japan, they won a very cool 3-0 as predicted. Mexico lost 2-1 to Italy with a late goal from Mario Balotelli in the 78th minute. Della Torre described Mexico's performance as controlled. However, many would disagree due to an absence in Max Mexico's lack of good tactical plan. Now, Nala, what did you make of Mexico's performance in their last match? Um, I wasn't uh, overly impressed with Mexico, but then again, I never really expected to be impressed by them. They've been struggling since uh, uh, throughout this uh, month, especially in their World Cup campaign. And whatever struggles they've been uh, having uh, have basically continued into this competition. And at the same time, um, ahead of this competition, they made uh, uh, it quite clear that they weren't really going to put a lot of emphasis on Confederations Cup. So considering all the concerns that they're having in the World Cup campaign, uh, as well as the attitude that they sort of brought to the table, I really didn't have high expectations. And I think uh, their performance really spoke uh, to that. Okay, now after Mexico's performance in their last match, is there anything that suggests to you that they may actually enter this game with a better tactical plan? Well, they definitely have to, Natalie, come into this game with a better tactical plan. I mean, I don't know what their tactical plan was in their previous game, but certainly they didn't execute it. Um, so they really need to figure out their scoring issues. They really need to uh, figure out uh, how to play more uh, their midfielders uh, in terms of an offensive role as opposed to having them rendered defensive uh, as most of the other teams have been able to do to them. So uh, they really have to figure out some new approach because basically this is their second game. They're running out of time. They're, you know, they're down. They're not completely out and they really need to win in this match. Now, apart from betting the obvious favorite in this match, what props look good to you? Where's the real value? Uh, there's quite a few, uh, Natalie, that uh, stand out. I mean, first, um, just... The one that I really like uh, basically pertains any any of the markets that pertain to goal scoring. The L3 have an outstanding defense, um, but the same can't be said uh, for their offense, well, which is pretty much non-existent right now. A slew of stalemates tell the story. Um, and if you look at their previous match, the only goal that came was uh, was from a penalty. Um, Brazil's attacking prowess, though, is in no doubt. So when you combine those two elements, um, I'm th looking at uh, the under 2.5 market. I really like that one uh, for this game uh, as well. I do like um, uh, overall a low scoring affair, so predicting the score. Uh, 1 0 2 0 score, I found at uh, bet 365 for plus 600, I think is a really tempting play. Um, and there's other. Uh, other uh, prop markets that I really like, things um, such as the full-time and half-time markets. I like Brazil to win both halves uh, in this particular game. Um, so, uh, and that's the trading, I think, at one, uh, plus 100 at bet uh, 365. And I also like the goal margin uh, by a goal or by two goals. Uh, those two seem to be the most popular. These where the market is leaning, and those are going for plus 240 or plus 333 at uh, bit 365. But 365, I mean, uh, overall, I'd like to say, I mean, I don't think there's much doubt who's going to win this, at least overwhelmingly, everyone is, uh, is siding with Brazil. So there's not going to be a lot of value in that market. So I think definitely uh, betters have to look at all the side markets uh, to add some value to this game. Okay, Nyla, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having me, Natalie.